Hello everybody, I am here today doing a review for the Batman Statue Collector on the new life-size Mark III Iron Man bust from Sideshow. And this thing is absolutely amazing. I know there have been some issues with the past couple of, the past couple of Sideshow Iron Man busts. Mark III, the paint was, or the Mark 42, sorry, the paint was just so lumpy. This just looks absolutely amazing. I honestly cannot believe how much Sideshow has stepped up their game since their last couple of Iron Man busts. So this bust here, this bust is huge. It is 27 inches tall. Um, they said that it was gonna weigh 70 pounds, but it definitely doesn't weigh 70 pounds. I'd say it's about half that. Um, the paint job on this bust just blows the last Sideshow Iron Man bust out of the water. The satin red just looks so good. And the mirrored gold on the faceplate. They really knocked it out of the park here. So coming down here, one of the biggest improvements that Sacho has made on these busts are the arc reactors. Um, I know in the last couple busts that they made, some of the arc reactors were just stick on pieces. This arc reactor is actually its own separate piece that you can pull out of his chest. It's got all this detail in there and it looks much, much better than their last couple of arc reactors. So I know that one of the biggest gripes that people have had with the last couple of Iron Man busts is the fact that the paint, the paint jobs were just terrible. The Mark 42, the chest plate is lumpy and the paint is flat. It just doesn't look good. But the paint on this one, they really hit it out of the park. It looks absolutely amazing. And that faceplate, they did such a great job on the faceplate. And it look, looks so good. It came out really, really well. You can see all over the bus, they've got all these different chrome looking pieces. And up here at the neck. And these are actually all plastic, but they really did an amazing job at making it look like chrome. And it looks really good, looks like metal. So I've really only got two issues with this piece. Um, this piece is basically my grail. This thing is amazing. But the one thing that Sideshow continues to do with these Iron Man bus is include this same old boring base. I don't know why they continue to keep using this same one, but it's definitely the weakness of this whole piece. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but I do disagree with Alex just slightly. I actually like the fact that all the bases are the same because then it presents as one collective unit, which I really appreciate. Of course, new bases would be cool too, but I just wanted to give you my two cents. The other, the only other issue that I have with this piece is this parting line right here. The head doesn't quite want to mate up fully to the neck. But for me, that's not an issue because I display my piece against the wall and nobody's gonna see it from the back anyway. But if you're somebody who's gonna have their piece in the center of the room and having people go behind it, this might be an issue for you. So 
brought it over here just to get a better view of the light up feature. Um, it actually does come with a remote. And you can see that you can adjust the brightness from 100 all the way down to 10. And that is actually amazing. Um, on 10, it's pretty bright as you can see there. But stepping it down, you can see here's 80, 60%, 40%, 20%, and 10%. Um, this is actually in my living room, so um, I like to keep it on 10% just because it isn't super bright when I'm watching TV. All right, guys, so there you have it. An awesome quick look at the brand new Iron Man life-size bus from Sideshow Collectibles. And I want to give a giant shout out to Alex. Massive congratulations to you on your awesome new piece. And thank you for sending in the footage so we can all see it because I don't think there are any reviews right now on YouTube. So it's really awesome to be able to see this piece. And I want to know everybody's thoughts. What do you guys think of this piece? Uh, I had the OG piece and I absolutely loved it. So I know Alex is super stoked for this piece. But I want to know everybody else's thoughts as well. What do you think? Is it a hit or miss? Do you think it's awesome? Are you going to plan on picking this one up because of this review? I'd love to hear those comments. Uh, I'm also going to put the product link down below if you want to order it from Sideshow Collectibles. That does help support the channel uh, if you do order. So thank you guys for ver very much for that. And I just want to thank you for spending some time with me today. It really makes me uh, very, very happy that you're here, that you're wanting to see this content. Let me know with that like button. That does let me know that you enjoyed it. Also, if you're new here, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Make sure it's clicked to all. Also, consider buying a Brotherhood of the Bat t-shirt down here right down here below that also helps support the channel very very much and uh, I just I love you guys thank you very very much for checking out this review I'll see you next time right here in the Bat Cave bye everybody Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.